Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to set up an SSH connection um, in a couple of different ways. One of them is easier, as it usually is in life. Um, but, either way, it's up to you. So, I'm going to be using Windows. This method is compatible with pretty much everything. <laughs> Unless you've written your own OS, it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. <laughs> Um, so, first we're going to go to our browser of choice and search up PuTTY, and then we're going to go to PuTTY.org, and then we're going to download PuTTY. Otherwise, as I usually do, is I go to Ninite.com and find PuTTY in here, and just download it. I also get WinSCP for other things, but, yeah, so download that. And we're going to install it. Close that client. Then we're going to find it, so I don't add it to my desktop usually. So what we need to do to find the IP of the, the, of the device. So on Linux, it's ifconfig. If, you're, it's, if it's on a Windows machine, it's ipconfig. I can show you that. Um, yeah, so we're looking for where, where. We're looking for this, the INET address or the IPv4, as it is on Windows. Um, that was here. Ignore my dual NAT setup. <laughs> it's not ideal. And I'm working on it. Um, anyway, so then it should just be the default port unless you've changed something, in which case, change it. So. 2.168.0.200 and then we connect to log in and call it a day. So the other way we can do this is using Windows. So we can open up the command prompt and go SSH Stormcloud. So this is the username that you're logging in with at the IP address 2.168.0.200 in my case. And then the custom port, I forget the flag for that, I think it's dash P, or lowercase p then. That was lowercase p, cool. So we can also SSH using the Windows command prompt. Uh, Linux has a similar thing actually. Um, I'm about to try and SSH into my into a system into itself through SSH. So we'll see how this goes. SSH stormcloud at I don't I think it's the same. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> oh that's dumb. And then we can also do the same thing here. So, pretty much the same for everything. I don't know about Mac. I don't use Mac. Don't plan on it. But, either way, it's pretty simple. Um, so, yeah. If it helped you out, consider subscribing. Like the video, maybe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.